one of the issues that we found early on was it was a large number of drivers that needed to be S-Class tested. So we reached out to Kentucky State Police who stepped up and uh, problem solved with us and with the transportation cabinet, came up with a solution of coming here to do a pop-up testing event for the TARC drivers. I wanna really thank the Kentucky State Police and the Transportation Cabinet for understanding not only the urgency of this, uh, but being a really good partner in state government. What we're doing today is uh, the written test for the school bus endorsement, which is required to have to drive a school bus legal in Kentucky. The first step is what we're doing today is the written test. Once they pass the written test, they have to keep that for two weeks and then there will be some training there in that two weeks with JCBS will provide and then they will do a, a road test in a school bus and after that they will have their full school bus endorsement. I want to say this is a great example of when you can bring us together uh, to help bring common goal to meet our commitment to the community and the city to bring uh, to help us bring uh, solutions to it. So there's some pretty extensive training that you have to go through to be a safe bus driver to transport children in the Commonwealth the S endorsement, then the road test, which is an addition to your uh, existing CDL to assure that you can transport children safely. Just one of the major differences uh, is the, the railroad crossings, the procedures. So there's specific questions, there's specific material specific to a school bus that uh, a passenger bus driver for TARC isn't mandated to, to follow those procedures, but a school bus driver is. And that's what the questions are today. I feel like we are in a very good place to start this year.